From Quezon Workers Alliance Livelihood Training and Empowerment, I'm Jasmine Yogan, your instructor for today. And our topic is how to prepare a balance sheet. Our objectives, one, to discuss the procedures in the balance sheet preparation, and the second one is to be able to prepare a balance sheet statement. Then, for our learning outcomes, the students will learn the major components of a balance sheet, and the second one is they will learn how to prepare and follow the procedures in balance sheet preparation. What is balance sheet? A balance sheet, which is also known as the statement of the financial position of a company, is one of the major components of financial statement. It gives a snapshot of a company's entities or financial condition. It also represents the company's assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. It also shows an accounting equation of assets is equals to liabilities and owner's equity. The equipment to be used are laptop, projector, and the VGA connector. Materials, references, papers, calculator, and ball pen. Step 1. Determine the heading. The heading consists of name of entity, name of statement, and the reporting period. Remember, all accounting cycle always consists of a heading. And basically, this is the template of a balance sheet in an Excel which consists of assets and liabilities in owner's equity. Step 2. Let's identify our current assets. The current assets from our trial balance are the following. Cash, accounts receivables, merchandise inventory, and the supplies or, or expense. Then, step 3, identify the non-current asset, which is equipment. Step 4, add current asset and non-current assets. Since our Excel is uh, formula generated, it automatically adds the total of the two. Now, let's go to the side of liabilities and owner's equity, which has also current liabilities and non-current liability. For step 5, let's identify the current liabilities from our trial balance, which is accounts payable. Step 6, identify the non-current liabilities, which is notes payable. And then, step 7, add current liabilities and non-current liabilities to get the total liabilities. So make sure that you have checked the total of the two. Now, let's go to the owner's equity. How do we determine the owner's equity on our step 8? Owner's equity is the sum of the investment of the owner and the net income less the drawings that was being accrued during the operation. So, how do we get the net income? The net income is the total of gross profit less the operating expenses to get the net income. Now, we have our owner's equity of 100,000 as M. Santos Capital. Now, let's put it in here. Add the three the current liability, non-current liability, and the owner's equity to get the total liabilities and owner's equity. Remember that assets and liabilities and owner's equity should be equal. So we have an equation for that. For assets, we have current assets plus non-current assets equals total assets, and then current liabilities plus non-current liabilities plus owner's equity equals total liabilities and owner's equity. Also, remember, always remember that they are tally or balance. And for your activity, given the trial balance, please prepare a balance sheet for Bravo Company for one hour.